I think we're ready. Which did you guys see earlier? Did he make the Dixie and DK? Yes, he did. Yeah, he comes around. He's the one who made this hack. Let's do it. SG. What was that? Revamp Remembrance. Jungle Jank. Funny enough, I've been uh, trying to get them to make it work on a Super NT. But it might not be possible. Which is fine. The thing is, I can only use that with like a FX Pack Pro or whatever. So what's different? Oh, I already hear differences. I'm just a god gamer. Oh. 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 Game. 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 Oh. Open up Super Luigi Energy, see the menu editor, and I tried to save it, and then I said, Palettes were not saved. You have negative 20,000 bytes left of color palettes. Please load a backup. Well, that was rude. Turn to Mario RPG Act where they add Luigi in the party permanently. You know who you're talking to, right, Fruits? R right? Not me, but someone else in my chat there. Someone, someone post the link. I mean, they have the other version, too. But... There was one that specifically adds Luigi. But Will's is actually, like... And I help with some of the music. But Will's is actually, like, a, a whole new adventure. With, like, new bosses and... If you wait a little bit, he has a, a new, new version of it coming out. Now we, we, we'll be playing that on stream. It's not working? Oh, there it is. That worked the first time. Ooh. So there, there's one that's just the OG game. He didn't make that one, I don't think. But, uh... Yeah, he posts updates on his Discord. If you're curious about the project at all. But yeah, it's all, if you want to post a link or whatever, that's fine. Cause yeah, like there, there is a reskin version, but this one's even more complex. This is this is like a whole new Luigi game. I feel like that was the only way to do that. Uh huh. In this world, there's a little bit, little bitty chungus in this world. In this world, I'm thinking of it's that Sonic song. In his world, you don't have to apologize, dude. That they said you literally, you came to like the right place. We're like a rom hack central here. You know what I mean? I'm actually gonna be starting a, a ROM hack podcast soon. So I wanna like interview different people across different communities and stuff. And just kinda like see, like, you know, learn about stuff. Like learn about like what you were talking about me, like the guy who ended up working for Shredder's Revenge and like just cool shit like that. Girlfriend pre ordered Mario G remake. Let's go! What do you mean shake my head? Bruh! I've said this so many times to so many people. If you guys like a game, and a company remakes a game, and you don't buy it, you're being a bad fan. Straight up. Because the company works by money. They make money. If they don't make money, they're going to go, oh, no one wants Mario RPG 2. Guess there's no, we should literally never make another Mario RPG. Because sales-wise, no one wants a Mario RPG. And if you say, oh, well, I bought it 30 years ago. Cool. Well, if you want one nowadays, then vote with your wallet. Go bananas in the snake pit of the Reptile Rumble. Singer sports spikes in their backs. You can't jump on them unless you're rad and winky. Oh, gameplay is too much for me. Say all that cool stuff. Yeah. How many uh, road ons with you? How many ghost chick? Right? Capcom especially. If an Ace Attorney re-release comes out and you don't buy that shit, they will just go, oh, no one wants Ace Attorney. They've already talked about that. 
Same like with that sequel thing. If people don't buy that, they're just gonna be like, eh, no one wants seven. Even though I own all three, I'm buying that shit. I want more Ace Attorney. I know it sucks. I know it's not what you want to hear. But unfortunately, we live in a capitalistic society. And you can yell on Twitter all you want, but they don't give a shit if you don't actually buy anything. And that's my TED Talk. <laughs> oh, I know what you're saying. It was more, it was more, you just kind of got the brunt of that. That, 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 that more was building up. So I'm sorry that you took, you had to take that humbly. That was like a Super Saiyan, like, charge attack with that, like, ugh, like, I've been holding that in. Yeah, because I've been seeing that with Ghost Trick, where people are like, eh, I'm not going to buy the Ghost Trick remake. I already own the game. They'll just make another one. No, no they won't. You didn't buy it. <laughs> I don't think I said Omega. Or if I said Omega, maybe I just meant like the term Omega, not like the person. Okay. I think I need to take this guy over. There we go. I'm enjoying this. This is cool. It's a, it's a little... I mean, it already kind of said it's a little... It's a, not even janky. It's just a little weird. But it's kind of like, here's the OG game, but like, it's like a hard mode. Like, kind of runs a Master Quest. No OT. Mostly getting a second chance, the best thing ever. Oh, I am I am making sure to get that, even though I can't really afford it right now. Just because I love that that genre of Capcom game. And I and I actually don't have a copy of it, so it'd be nice to actually have a copy of it. Give me that fan art. Mission accomplished. Let's go, Shrick. That's the the new Capcom visual novel game that... Well, it's not new, it was a DS game, but they re-released it on Switch and everything. It was uh, the game that Shu Takumi, or whatever his name is, Shu Takami, Takumi, whatever the fuck, he ended up making... You might have to go to your own store, but you at least can look at it there. It might be on PC and stuff, too. But, uh... It's a, it's a perfect Switch game, you know what I mean? But it's one of those games where, uh... Yeah, it's a, it's that same kind of like so not not even like solve the mystery as much as like I don't I don't know if you don't know much about it I don't want to spoil it. There is a free demo though, so you can just literally check it out. Pretty sure there was a demo. Yeah. But it's uh if you like Ace Attorney games, it's actually in the same universe. But it's not like a lawyer game. It's not going to be the same gameplay. Yeah, so that's what uh, the Ace Attorney guy ended up making back on the DS days. Came out in, what, like, 2005, originally? Yeah, that, that's a great example of a game where, like... Because some games I feel like you don't have to buy at launch. I feel like not buying, like, Zelda at launch. Like, Nintendo's not gonna not make another Zelda, you know? But if, like, there was, like, an Earthbound remake. It's like, bro, if I didn't buy that... And they were like, oh, well, I guess we didn't get enough sales. I would just cry. Uh, uh. And Steam. PC and Steam. <laughs> I, I found that funny too. <laughs> but yeah, no, that is funny though that your girl that your girlfriend's just like, but it's got a new hat. Don't you care about the new limit break or the new equipment or whatever they might add? It's got, but they got a new hat. Fuck. Trying anything in sales just because it's coming. Not when you're a business that is about making money. Tying things to sales when you're like a charity or something is kind of fucked up, I guess. But even that's not really if it's like a you know like an incentive drive or something, you know like GDQ or something. But like, because like at the end of the day, a business exists because it is trying to make money. I, I, I always think about Ned Flanders when they build on that shitty ass house and he's just like, like Marge, we did, or like Mar Marge is like, we did the best we can, Ned. And Ned's like, well, I can't sleep on good intentions, Marge. 
That's basically Nintendo. Anytime people demand a game but never buy it. I do think, obviously, pricing stuff the right price and the value proposition and stuff, that those are all va important questions. Like, the Canadian value of the Battle Network collection was beyond fucked. But the second story JRPG remake, I am super... I don't know if I call it a JRPG remake. But the second story Star Ocean remake, like, that I'm going to make sure to buy, because I know that is like a, if I don't buy it, Square's just going to go, well, no one wants this. What is this ending? And that's the interesting thing about more RPG, humbly, is that I've noticed a lot of people who don't typically play RPGs have played more RPG. Like, even people like I knew in like the dance world, like people I didn't even expect to be like gamers, were like, oh, bro, more RPG, like that's my favorite Super Nintendo game. And I was like, huh. I just did not expect that. And like, it would be like them like saying it unprovoked. Like not it wasn't me like asking them or anything. Like they'd just be like, oh yo, more RPG. Like, damn, really? Okay. Mario Luigi Paper Mario. Yeah, we just finished a Paper Mario randomizer from hell. And uh Honestly, I Paper Mario 1 makes a really good randomizer. I'm sure a Thousand Year Door will once that gets made, but that game has so much content. I'm sure that's why it's taking a million years. There is a pit randomizer. We've done that one for Thousand Year Door. That was actually pretty fun. But there's no, like, ending to it. So it's just kind of, like, endurance. But we, we got to, like, floor 100 and something. What is this? Maybe she'll get it. Does have a fuck ton of FF games? I mean, that was the intention, right? Much like Mystic Quest, more RPG was... Like, for Square, it was the perfect, like, gateway RPG, so people would buy Final Fantasy. And for Nintendo, it was making a, you know, accessible RPG. Which is, like, what they're about. Were you- I thought- I thought you were there for that stream, Will. We- we- I did the pit randomizer, uh, like, not too long ago. If you're ever curious about randos, the list. Ah, spaghetti. Ah, ravioli. Ah, mamma mia. What have we got? Uh... Yeah, the Tazer Door has a lot of stuff in here, dude. Enemy HP, item drop randomizers, item and loading zone randomizers. There's even a Super Paper Mario. There's a Super Paper Mario level editor and randomizer. That's kind of sick. We are going to be doing the Mario Luigi rando. I haven't played the demo yet for Pikmin 4, but I'm pretty excited to. Think wants Pikmin 4? It, the, those coupons are actually a pretty good deal. Especially if you're in Canada. I mean, I know you guys aren't, but for those that are in Canada. But like, you pay 130 bucks and you get two Switch games. Like, full price Switch games. That's actually a god tier deal. I know it's not physical, though. And sometimes physical is better. Like, I still have a huge physical collection. But I'm also someone who, like, if I'm saving, like, a hundred bucks, I'm like, mm -hmm. But it's a bit different where I live. I kind of have, like, a no choice on that sometimes. Like, either play the, like, play the game through Game Pass or something, or not at all. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, check that website I just sent. Mario Rabbids was way better than it had any right to be. I remember when it leaked. Yo, did y'all see that fish? Bro. 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 That was a fast with the pro, what the fuck? Oh, he like went up, I see. He only goes down on the side there. Okay. Or like when he turns. Lake BS. And you know what? They know. They know. Personally, happy they made the rabbits more so adorable as opposed to annoying. Yeah. The new one seems a lot better. We are going to be playing the DLC to the first game. That was one of our incentives from last year. It's like an entire sci-fi race now. They are. 
Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the, just the gameplay and everything. It looks a lot less like restrictive. That was my biggest beef with the first one. Okay. Sometimes I felt a little like just kind of like it was a little too strategy RPG for me. But like, I'm not a big SR RPG guy. There's certain ones that I like. Genealogy of the Holy War is one I can definitely name. Advance Wars, Days of not Days of Ruin, but uh, Dual Strike, the DS, the first DS one. I like really like that one. Um, there's some other ones I'm thinking of. Oh, Into the Breach. I fucking love Into the Breach. That game is actually so good. Where did the crocs puts go? Rayman fans are so happy to the guy. Yeah, I was gonna say they actually he's in the he's in the new DLC, right? Bro, I thought he, he left. We we already had a Rayman returns. We need a Rayman returns returns. Okay, into the breach ready. I'm trying to get to the save point so we can save, Chad. I just want to save the game, Chad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're showing up. I remember seeing that. Yeah, yeah, there's like intro trailer thing. Do they ever explain why the level's twice on the map? That always bugged me. Well, I don't know why I hit that. Okay. I am DK, hear me roll. Octopus, fuck. It's gonna come. What? Oh, you're not an unguard. You don't want a one percent attack? No. I can, I'm only gonna hundred and one percent it if the creator comes in and talks mad shit. No, I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking because I know they probably would. <laughs> but like I said, this feels like a like a lost levels master quest kind of thing. It's been a lot of fun. Kind of salty towards the rabbits. Understandably. Yo, these guys are pogging. These guys are pogging out, yo. I feel like, whoa, don't do that. Okay. Now that's just wrong. What okay. SpongeBob sort of shoots the fire in the water? <laughs> I love the, the, what? The super fast supersonic bee is, is fine, but the underwater fire is what did it for you, Eberk. That's what did it. Oh yeah, so everyone knows bees can fly at a thousand miles an hour underwater, but hmm, underwater fire, hmm. The monkey holding his breath for an infinite amount of time. That checks out with nature. That's uh, that son of a bitch. If that son of a bitch even thinks about lighting a fire. <laughs> I'm just picturing Eber playing Mario games like, oh. Shooting that fireball, you piece of shit. Ah! And then, Kirby, and then he plays a Kirby game and he's like, Damn right, fire. Damn right, fire. You better fucking not work underwater. I, I always like that in Kirby games. Don't forget, chat, we're gonna start the 3D World Mario Kart 8 stuff soon. We finished Lake BS. Whoa, my dudes! That's how they hear him. What does he say? Whoa, dudes! Is this anything new? They love fire water? My bodacious jumbo bear. I think I think he wants wants it in. I like how they kept the, the alliteration. Risky region. Oh, can we just still skip everything? Fuck that. I believe that answered my question. I believe that uh, answered my question. There will be no further questions for the Kong family. Fuck! Bro, the FNAF movie is apparently getting pre screenings. It's getting really good, decent reviews. It's only being negative because the plot is messy. So I fear it might be peak for those that know FNAF, but I don't know. I think the world with the FNAF movie is actually good. The only thing that people have been kind of shit talking is the director. They're like, apparently it's like a not good director. 
That was so slow. That doesn't necessarily mean the movie would be bad. And look who made Lord of the Rings. This track record before that was not the best. You know what I thought wouldn't mind a Rayman game with the rabbits if they're like the Mario ones? If the rabbits were basically just toads, they'd be totally fine. Make them adorable and they're greatest co-op characters. Yeah, exactly. Just make them toads. Make... Sorry, I gotta get to the save point, chat. We should have enough time. We should, we should be good. Focus. So, like, what's this fuck you? Bro. This level is trash. This level. This level's fucking trash. Comparatively, I mean. The other ones felt like harder ones. This one feels like almost Kaizo ish. Like, it just feels unfair. Mario! Like an unfair arrangement as opposed to like a. Oh, I gotta be skillful. Speaking of co op, Mario Wonder seems cool. Oh, 100%. Mario. The fact that. Mario Wonder and Sonic Superstars come out, like, the same day, pretty much. It's still pretty fucking cool. And, like, a really fucking stupid idea by Sega, but... Like, I'm so actually so hyped for that. And I'm a big, like, speedrun guy. And, like, if the Wonder and Sonic Superstar speedruns are good... I could see myself doing it. Especially because Mario Odyssey was such a big speed game. It'd be nice to like get in, get in on a speed game when it's still like new. See, Ebert, that guy was purple, so I knew he jumped. The big Chungus! Biggest! No, I mean Sonic Superstars. The new Sonic game. If you haven't seen anybody, check it out. I don't really give a shit about Spider-Man, honestly, but... I'm not a big superhero guy. Although I will say Into the Spider-Verse was like the best movie. But... Not really because it's a superhero, but just because it was a good movie. Boom. Made him. Yeah, Spider-Man is good. Fucking dope. Just everything about it is just... It's so much, like, love and care put into that. Like, it's just nice to see a movie like that, you know what I mean? Oh, ostrich out on my face on a fucking ostrich. Out on my face, I'm a fucking ostrich. Out on my face, I'm a fucking ostrich. Out on my face, I'm a fucking ostrich. Out on my face! If you're not Diddy, you're fucked there. Out fucking ostrich, I'm a fucking ostrich. Out on my face, I'm a fucking fuck, a fuck, a fuck, a fuck. Ostrich, yeah. Ostrich, I'ma go fuck, fuck up on your fridge. I'm an Osterbridge. Hypothesis. Osterbridge. Ah! I'm an Osterbridge. The hell was that? Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. I, I do like how they are generous with the lives. I'm always a fan of a hard hack that either gives you, you know, like a lot of retries or infinite retries or whatever, or saves after every level. Or, uh, just puts like a, you know, like a one up every now and again, or three up or whatever. Just so it's not like, oh, you gotta do it with four lives. Cause that just becomes unfun to me. Okay, I just have to hold right there. I just have to remember that. There's no real clue. It'd be nice if there's like a little banana trail or something. Oh, on my face. Oh, on my face. Uh, on my face. Well, he got in my face. 
out of my fucking face. Come on, it's four o'clock. I gotta start this shit. Game? <laughs> We're gonna do some multiplayer. I haven't played 3D World since, basically since it came out, like the the new version. But I don't think I finished it. But I, I actually loved how they made the characters better. That actually is like the best change ever. And we still gotta do our Bowser's Fury speedrun week. That I'm looking forward to. What is this? Hello? But you made certain good items in Luigi for post game. That's fun though. Cause like you then you reward people for exploring. Oh, there is a DK barrel though. I don't have to change levels. It's always nice when like the answer isn't just like grind levels. I know some people get off on that shit. But, it's, but I'm, I'm always a fan when an RPG has more than one solution. You know what I mean? Oh, I, I get it now. The top is showing me where they are. The anti-inventory clutter, as you call them now. That sounds cool. How are you supposed to reach that? Bro, this is so jank. Oh yeah, what's your actual descriptions on some, the B-Tub ring or whatever? Fucking Oster Ridge. Fucking Oster... We're right in front of the save point too, like I can't... Unless it saves every level, but I don't know if it does. That is a feature. Okay, with Donkey you just hold forward. That's nice. Done, done. What? I thought that I could like kill the bee or something. Okay. 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 GG. Woo! Motorboat Inc. Wait, what? You can't you can't call Candy Kong Motorboat Inc. I don't think we can do that. Equipment, for example, now the protect for the for uh, equipment, for example, will now list what the protect from the first side of the island for each description. I'm gonna call books, so, so I'm trying to find a good innovator. Got lots of choices. Don't use the abilities over items, or even having buffs you can activate and overwhelm works better for RPGs. Yeah. Oh, it's having clutter issues. Ah. I'm just curious what this is. Is it? Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. Because there's no save point for a while after. All right. We will be back with Distortion Country next time on Dragon Ball Z.